All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to work on our G major chord again. This time though, we're just gonna play a G major triad. Now we've learned the full G chord in open position. We've learned the G bar chord at the third fret. Today I'm gonna to show you, you don't always have to play the entire chord. Um, you can play just three notes of the chord, the root, the third, and the fifth, like we've talked about before. The G is gonna be our root, the B is gonna be our third, and the D is gonna be our fifth of the chord. And you can play those triads at different places on the neck. Now today I'm gonna to show you just up from the top three strings, strings one, two, and three, where to find these notes. Now our fingering is gonna be different than what we're used to. And as we move to the different locations, our, it's gonna change our fingering. Anywhere you can find a G, a B, and a D, you can play a G major chord or a G major triad. So our first one is going to be right down here in this position where we play our G major chord, our bar chord. If you'll notice, if you play just the top three strings, you're playing just this shape like this. Just strings one, two, and three. That's a G major triad. Uh, you've got your B note, you've got your D note, on the second string, and you've got your root or your G note on the first string. G major triad right there. All right, now we've learned the D chord. You can move this shape up playing just the top three strings and make a G major triad right there using that D shaped chord but the notes that you're playing are making your G major triad. So you've got your root with your third finger on the second string. You've got your B note on the first string and you've got your D note on the third string. That's a G major chord or a G major triad. And now let's move on up and grab one more of them. G major triad once again on just the top three strings. You've got your G note right there at the 12th fret. Also at the 12th fret but on the second string, you've got your B note. And then you've got your D note here on the first string making another another G major triad. So don't just memorize the shapes that your fingers are making to make these triads. Memorize the notes that it takes to make them. And practice going back and forth between the three. Major triad. All right, guys, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell so you get notified every time I make a new video. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.